hello hello how are you all i hope you're all okay i'm having to look where i'm going otherwise i'm going to chip over <laughs> so we are out on another van camp we're back at the cheese ring farm again because it's so beautiful i've got to walk on this side following this little track now we have been here for a couple of hours now just sitting by the van just watching the views if anyone saw my um, first little van camp video I'm sorry but those views are so amazing I could sit and look at them all day and we literally have done that and look if you look look ah, rainbow oh. Let's see what we get up to this weekend, shall we? Come on! It's been a bit of a funny old day today. It has turned freezing it's a northerly wind which is bitterly cold it's going between beautiful blue sky and sunshine to showers like it is now but it's meant the light has just been incredible i can't honestly i can't describe how dramatic it's made everything must have seen about 20 rainbows today just gorgeous so we're just hoping that by the time we get around this track that a my feet might have warmed up <laughs> but b we might catch a sunset so it's been a while so just yeah heading off down this beautiful track you can see it going off behind me it's just stunning here so yeah, let's go see, let's go chase the sunset, shall we? Look at that. I'm worried we're gonna miss the sunset. <laughs> We've left it a little late in the day. But look at those colours, man. It's just over there, people. Just over there. That was incredible. We kind of almost missed the main event because the sun just disappeared behind the hill behind me, but wow, beautiful. Honestly, I'm a bit <laughs> just in studio beaming. Flipping love it, love it so much. <laughs> so tomorrow we're gonna go and head up Sharp Tour, which is just over there. Where am I pointing? There. Look at that sky. That's behind the sunset. It's insane, isn't it? Absolutely insane. So yes, so we're going to head up there tomorrow, hopefully. It's meant to be a nice day tomorrow, considering all the storms we've been having. It's been storm after storm. The ground is absolutely saturated. But man, I'm so glad we came out for this little walk. Gorgeous. Right. Back to the van now, get a fire going. <laughs> oh, <laughs> and time for beer, says hubby. Yay! <laughs> so we're back at the uh, back at the van now. It is so cold, honestly. We've got a fire going, but it's going a bit crazy. Might have to put it out, I don't know. Um, time for beer number one. Look at this beast. So this is a siren beer, smart casual smart casual guys yeah yeah i know juicy ipa uh can't see how strong it is i seem to remember it wasn't a ridiculous six percent i mean it's strong enough so cheers everybody happy new year to you all 
I have some thank yous to do, which I will do later once we're in the van with the heater going and I'm nice and warm. Oh, that smells really nice. Ooh, that's lovely. I don't want to say what I can taste because then I read the description and it's nothing like it. But I would say orangey, peachy. Fruit it. <laughs> Gotta love my beer reviews. I will put more of them on my Instagram. My K's Gone Wild Only Beers fans, I will. I'll get on that properly this year because every time I drink a beer, I keep a note of it and I take photos of it and then I just don't get around to posting. So I'll just put a load up at some point. Mm. Oh, I'm sorry for the really bad nail varnish as well, peeps. So was... He wants some. God damn it. <laughs> oh. Oh, that I still can't get over that sunset. It was amazing. I didn't think we were quite going to catch it, but the fact that it disappeared, if that hill hadn't been there, <laughs> we would have seen the whole thing, but oh man, the light on those clouds, magical. And I'm tempted to try, I said to hubby, to try to get up for the sunrise in the morning, because you know, like, early January it's what the 5th of January I think let's face it the sun's rise is like eight o'clock in the morning isn't it if I don't get up there now you're never gonna get up right I can hear an alarm going off somewhere right we are going to sit by the fire and enjoy our beer and I will bring you back later when we're snuggled in the van and I've got the disco 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 ball going we haven't actually got into the van yet because I am just cooking a simple fish pie, which I will show you a little bit of, but um, it's basically a fish pie mix from Tesco, um, some jumbo king prawns and a fish sauce, a fish pie sauce, and then just some Idaho and buttery mash to go on top. So it's really simple, but oh my God, does it taste good. And I just wanted to show you this beer fell over summit <laughs> i love it what a great name for a beer a mountain ipa it fell over the mountain um from uh, magic brewing it's 6.5 percent i've never had this one before never even seen it before a funky can apologize again for shoddy nails you see my breath it is so cold typically both of my thermometry things need new batteries annoyingly so i can't actually tell you how cold it is in real life oh it smells good <laughs> so it's not as we've been having a lot of fruity beers it's not fruity it's not fruity people what's it say didn't say anything didn't say anything at all in actual fact it's not a fruity one. Mm. It's quite drinkable. And I would guess at 6.5% you might end up falling over summit. <laughs> what a great name. Mm. Not my favourite, but it's not horrible. But I think it's just because we've been having so many fruity beers, it just tastes a bit not fruity. Run it. Come get it. <laughs> right, I will show you this fish pie when it's cooked. I'm not showing you the whole thing because I did that on a reel on Instagram, if you saw that. And ticky tocky, I believe. Um, but yeah, but we're letting the fire go out now. It's just getting cold. So we're just going to cook, eat and then get in the van. So I'll bring you back for a party later. Oh yeah, baby. <laughs> Look at that. Fish pie.
It is so tasty. It is so easy and it is so quick. Highly, highly recommend. Look at that. Big old jumbo king prawns. If you like fish, you've got to try this dinner. <laughs> you see how cold I look? I've got a little red nose because I'm so cold. Um, I've never shown you the ceiling in our van. I'm going to flip you over so you can see it. So it's just a, um, a cloth mandala that we bought um, online and we've kind of tucked it under the roof of the van. It's flipping awesome. I kind of forget it's in here and then because I don't come in the van so often and then I get in and I'm like, oh my God, it's so cool. Amazing. Ah, right. We're now in the van, have the gas fire going, gradually taking off layers as we warm up. It is so cold outside and I think really we should have just come in the van sooner but obviously we were cooking and everything so that's it so nice and snuggly in the van now I'm going to share one last beer with you for the evening another vacation beer Ayaraki I've had this before it's incredible it's eight percent Ooh, but it's okay because I'm sharing it so I'm only getting four percent do you see <laughs> so I'm going to open this because I have a lot of thank yous to do Get this beastie open. Oh my god, it's so nice this one. It's so good. It's like a really dark fruity beer, but oh. oh, it's nice. It's like completely different. So it's not like a peachy or citrusy. It's like dark fruits. It's just lush. Anyway, I'll do my thank yous so that it can have the beer. <laughs> So I've had to write them down because there's so many of them. So you probably know my birthday was on Christmas Eve. Um, I did a live stream the day before, which was brilliant, but kind of cut short because I was feeling so poop and then found out on my birthday that I had the C word. Not nice. But so many people bought me beers for my birthday, which was just so kind and generous. So thank you so, so much. So I have written down some names. So, Leo, thank you so much for buying me some beers. I really appreciate it, lovely. Really, really appreciate it. Soph, thank you. You've bought me beers before, lovely, and I really appreciate the little birthday gesture, so thank you. Steve, thank you again. I don't know a surname, and I think, Steve, you might have bought me beers before. So thank you again so, so much. I really appreciate it. Justin, bless you your birthday was um christmas day god bless you i hope you had an amazing birthday thank you so much for buying me some beers as well really appreciate it andy benjifield bless you thank you so much andy always so lovely and so supportive of my channel and just always say such lovely things so thank you Pam Atkins, thank you so much for saying I inspire you. Um, that Yeah, it just means the world to me. So thank you again so, so much. Lizzie, my lovely Lizzie and Adam, thank you. Your support, your friendship means the world. So you guys are awesome. Thank you. Uh, and the Turkey Squad Originals. So I've, I've had to write all their names down. So Spammy, Slab and Steve awesome names thank you guys thank you for your support on instagram thank you for your awesome content if you want to check them out they're they're brilliant so yeah thank you so much guys i really really appreciate it i'm sorry i'm not out on a wild camp doing your thank you hopefully that is coming soon i miss the moors so much and it has been such a long time since i've done a proper solo wild camp so that is coming asap weather dependent and back dependent more to the point but hopefully we might even next week 
possibly so we shall see we shall see cheers thank you to you all you all mean so much to me your support your friendship everything else absolutely awesome and on that note I'm going to say good night I think because we just want to chill well chill we want to warm up <laughs> just gonna have a few more beers just relax this is all about just relaxing after the kind of Christmas mayhem and being poorly kind of recuperating and just getting back to some sense of normality so cheers everybody and I will see you in the morning night morning or actually afternoon <laughs> we've had such a lazy morning um that we are just now sitting here having a, a cuppa and go, i'm going to cook breakfast in a minute only i think it's gone 12 but you know we're having a little holiday aren't we little holiday it is a glorious morning we've had some rain it sort of showers but oh it's just stunning here the views are just breathtaking and to be able to look over towards my wonderful Dardmore where hopefully, hopefully I will be, although my back is killing me this morning. <sighs> Very niggly, but yes. So I'm not sure how much more filming I'm going to do. We might go for a little walk up onto the moors later and if I do then I'll pop in some footage for you. Um, but otherwise I'm going to keep this little video short and sweet I think. So I will see you all again soon. I'm very sorry it's been lacking in innuendos on this video. Shocking. Normality will resume I assure you. <laughs> take care everybody and I'll see you soon. Bye. We decided to take a walk up onto Bodmin Moor. We started off at Minions and took a walk out to the Minions Heritage Centre. Unfortunately, it's closed now, but it's a stunning old engine house. Absolutely gorgeous. Look at it, it stood up against that gorgeous blue sky. So beautiful. Those views from up there are just incredible. And the sun was starting to get really low in the sky and just knew it was gonna be an absolutely spectacular sunset. So we knew we had to head up to the cheese ring. The cheese ring is a big granite outcrop up on one of the tours on Bodmin Moor and it's just gorgeous. Look at it, absolutely beautiful. So we sat and froze our asses off and watched this stunning sunset. Gorgeous absolutely gorgeous i love it up here and can't wait to explore some more see you all soon guys take care bye